A little bit more. I can't remember if we have everybody who said who can join, but um, yeah. Oh, uh, and thank you, John, for waking up early. <laughs> I I know that it's five a.m. there. Um, maybe um, I just wait for um one more minute, and then we'll start. Okay, I'm going to leave my post for one minute, but I'll come back. Uh, very very quickly. Sure. No problem. So hello everybody. Um, uh, thank you for joining the call. Although this was uh, called uh, quite like um, you know, um, urgent and it wasn't initially planned. And um, so I don't really have the agenda that I have uh, sent out in advance. Um, but uh, let me just uh, verbally um, cover what I intend to um, to discuss with you today. So first, as I as I shared on the mailing list. There have been some uh, changes um, uh, in uh, the timeline for the NAMES Cross Community uh, Working Group. So the current plan is to submit the proposal to um, the ICG on June this year. So that's like six months delay. And it's likely to change the, the whole overall um, timeline for the ICG. So um, I would like to um, discuss on um, how we, we consider this situation and then possible actions or considerations which may be needed, including uh, communicating with our communities or uh, any points that we need to, we should uh, confirm with the NTIA or the ICG during the ICAM meeting and things like that. So that's one agenda item that I would like to cover. And then, um, so that's the main thing, but uh, there are actually uh, a couple of um, other points that I would like to cover as well. The second point is um, our future role as a first team in the steps with completed submission of the proposal. But, um, so, and uh, we got a re response, reply from NROEC about their expectations. So I would like to um, briefly cover that and um, hear your feedback about this. And then, uh, as you know, there has been some uh, comments uh, um, made on the IANA. Um, um, Expert mailing list uh, regarding the response that we have uh, provided to the ICG. Um, so uh, there are some discussions made by Richard Hill and a couple of other community members. That's one point. But there's also another point that I would like to flag to you, which is the another post that is um, sent to the ICG forum by Richard Hill. Um, that is, um, he's expressing concerns um, over the uh, considerations for the number of resources um, proposal um, uh, within the ICG. And one of it is uh, he's asking some questions about the definition of consensus. So um, let's cover this as well. So those are the main uh, agenda points that I would like to cover. And then uh, lastly, uh, very briefly at the end of the meeting, I would like to um, confirm about the notes for the first team meetings, if we should uh, continue with the current uh, format or we, we should actually make it more efficient um, in combination of the recordings. So um, do you have any questions or anything else you would like to um, discuss at the call today? Oh, I'm not hearing um, from anybody. Um, actually, uh, just to update you, I, I did also send you the slides of um, that I plan to cover for the um, Monday ICG meeting. It's not uh, totally completed, but it would be great if we could uh, discuss a little bit about that as well. So it, it's quite uh, we we do have quite uh, intensive um, 
agenda. So let's uh, go to the first agenda. Um, so this is related to the changes in the situation and the uh, possible delay in, um, in the time schedule. So um, my suggestion is that, of course, we still haven't heard anything formally from the ICG and they haven't um, you know, uh, published a revised um, timeline. So the first thing is like uh, confirm um, this. And then um, we also need to um, inform the community about the next uh, um, next steps and how this uh, overall um, process uh, may affect. But um, I personally feel it may be better that we wait for um, the latest uh, um, timeline to be published uh, by the ICG, uh, rather than we inform the community at this stage and you know we're not able to answer any of the questions and it makes us like a, uh, unnecessary uh, concerns or worries. So that that's uh, my um, observation and uh, um, suggestion at this stage. And I do welcome your feedback as well as um, additional points you feel should we, we should consider uh, surrounding this situation. So I see. Um, thank you, Paul, for expressing that you agree. With and so I think during um, the ICAM meeting, we, we try to, we want to be, um, we want to um, try to uh, communicate um, with the NTIA um, if there's any, any representative from the NTIA, what they think about the current situation, um, and then as well as the ICG members. So. Um, any other comments or um, observations related to this? I see a hand from Andre. Hi, Zumi. Hi, everyone. Uh, well, correct me if I'm wrong. Well, first of all, I agree with this approach. And correct me if I'm wrong, but um, in my understanding, the updated timeline doesn't really change the uh, previously announced the deadline. I think it's, it's a risky timeline, but formally, it still we are aiming at the third of 30th of September uh, or before the 30th of September to come up with a final proposal. So I think formally there is no reason to any any actions from outside. I would be interested because I read some way in some of uh, ICG documents that they were planning to uh, create a partial proposal and give a test run for the partial proposal. So I would be interested in the ICG uh, views on that. An interesting um, point. So I think it may be uh, worth um, talking to the ICG members and uh, hear their perspective or um, the current situation uh, related to this. And um, so, and then regarding the impact to the time schedule, um, yes, it's, it's true that um, you know at this stage, you know, no no changes are pub published from the ICG, but. They need time to incorporate other proposals from all of the three um, components, and I'm not sure if we, they can do that. And then uh, ask for public comment from the community within uh, three months. But then, anyways, let's wait for the, um, the reaction from the ICG on this. And I think you made an excellent point. Uh, if there's any interesting consideration made within the ICG, then I think it's um, we can try to um, hear the situation and if there's any uh, pre-preparation that's needed uh, from the numbers community side, um, we, we can uh, certainly uh, support or share information with the to the RIRs or, or anybody who, who needs to um, to um, address this. So I see hand from um, Craig and Rani. Um, hi everyone, it's good to be back again, isn't it? Um, I um, agree with what's been said, said so far. Um, from my understanding, um, it seems to me that even though ICG has the job of integrating the three different uh, proposal, it seems to me that the reality is that the three proposal would probably stand quite independently. Um, you know, ITF has the agreement, we have our agreement, um, and the names, whatever agreement or structure that they come up with, will end up with, again, another form of agreement. So what I hope we get from the ICG is some sort of green light to sort of start preliminary work 
on our agreement um, so that it doesn't hold things up. Um, but ultimately, I mean, you know, if we can start working on our part at some point in the next couple of months, and if IETF and the protocols can do that as well, then I really don't see how, um, you know, we're not going to have one big agreement that three community has to sort of agree on. We've got our own independent one. So that's what my perspective is. Thanks, Craig, and next to Lani. Thank you, and yes, indeed, good to speak to you all again. Uh, been very uh, empty here on Thursday uh, afternoon. Um, uh, well, I, first of all, I agree with the uh, the proposal or the, the suggested way forward. Um, and I guess what uh, so from what I understand, but this I think should be clarified through sort of the the official communication channels, is that the ICG has said that they will proceed with the two proposals they have uh, received in terms of uh, gauging the uh, support and for the proposal consensus, etc. And also start analysing where there's overlap or conflict, etc. I mean, the task they were given was to actually come up with one, to take these three proposals and come up with one proposal, right? Uh, so, uh, from what I, I understand, they will start looking at the two proposals they've received, uh, and then I guess we will see, and this is what we'd like, I'd like a clarification from the ICG on uh, this new timeline from. Um, the names community, how does that affect the uh, whole timeline, so to speak? Uh, our, our individual, uh, the individual work that different communities have to do, we have to do in, in any case, but I guess then we also need to discuss how this delayed timeline affects us uh, and if there's any action that we in the number community in the CRISP group uh, will need to take. Um, Given this, uh, given this new timeline. Very good uh, question, Nirani. So I think during um, uh, the, uh, this this week and next week uh, throughout Singapore, uh, let's try to um, get a feeling. Uh, I don't know if um, the ICG will be able to have a concrete um, answer to this at this stage, but at least let's try to communicate and um, confirm what they think at this stage, um, and then also try to communicate with um, um, the representatives from the NTIA uh, if they will be here. So um, I, I think there will be, uh, well, there will be a, a public session on Monday, so it might be worth um, asking questions um, to the ICG and NTIA about this impact of this um, uh, changing situation in, in the names. So, um, any other points that people want to make related to this? No, nope, I'm not seeing any hand. So, um, so I think we're pretty much done and agreed on the way forward about this uh, first point. Uh, so the second point on the agenda that I wanted to cover was um, uh, Richard Hill's comment um, that was uh, submitted to ICG forum. So um, I don't know if you are seeing the, uh, the archives. Um, if you have access to the internet, um, it might be good if you, you actually uh, uh, type in ICG hyphen forum and access to the archives. So um, he has uh, submitted his concern this time over the considerations that have been made within the ICG about the number of um, uh, resource uh, resources uh, communities proposal, and one of it is um, it's, it's related to conflict of interest. That Paul Wilson is uh, reviewing uh, the proposal, um, even though that he's in the same organization as uh, Craig, who is the Chris team member. But I think that's something for the ICG to be sort uh, to to sort out. And the second point is that he's asking um, uh, he's he's asking why this can be uh, considered, uh, this situation can be considered as a uh, consensus was reached for our proposal. And he feels that, um, you know, he, well, obviously he, he wasn't supporting his, uh, his, um, 
he feels that he wasn't supporting his proposal and he would like to um, understand um, and clarify why we we as a Chris team um, consider that there was consensus um, reached and um, uh, what, from what I um, know this will be uh, discussed at the ICG meeting tomorrow afternoon and uh, so the representatives from the um, the numbers community is likely to um, require to give explanation. So I think it would be good uh, if we as the Chris team can uh, provide some um, a rationale behind why we have uh, considered uh, this situation as consensus, and then we we share this uh, the result of our consideration uh, with Paul and well Alan is not here at the meeting uh, at this meeting, but. Um, uh, so, uh, so I, I don't know if you can attend the ICG meeting tomorrow. But anyways, we share this uh, with um, with the representatives from the numbers uh, community. Uh, the, the ICG members are uh, representing the numbers community. So that's the overview. And um, anyone would like to start uh, sharing your observation about why we think um, this uh, con consensus uh, was achieved. Craig. Craig, yeah, Craig, you have your hand up, right? Oh, please go ahead. Um, Izumi, you broke up. I'm hoping that you asked me to go ahead. Um, my my view is that this consensus thing is a misunderstanding of, by Richard Hill of what consensus means. Um, you know, I think this community of all community understands what consensus means, and, and and it never ever, in my opinion, or in my experience, um, was intended to mean unanimity of view. Um, in this particular case, um, on the subject of um, of the contract, you know, the level of detail of the contract, Richard Hill, and I think in one of his comments, has specifically said that he could accept as a compromise. Um, uh, a contract prepared by RIR staff as long as there's community consultation or something to that effect and, and that was put in. Um, but beyond that, I think you know he, his views about particular issues that he raised, um, we've considered it as a team um, and some we have agreed, others we have rejected um, and that position is transparently put out to the whole world to see. Um, and I, from what I observe, we receive a lot of support for our position um, and Richard's position or his dissent has not received much community support at all. So I think under the circumstances, um, it is perfectly fine for this team to call that as a consensus and that's how it happens in all the policy making process. So that's my view on that. Thank you very much. Oh. Sorry, I think now I'm muted. Uh, I'm muted. So, um, excellent point, uh, Craig. And uh, now to Nurani. Thank you. Um, so, well, well, first of all, so, so our task is not to. Uh, and by the way, I thought your response to the list was very good, Izumi. Uh, our task is not to enter into discussion uh, about facts or, or about the views with, with Richard Hill at this point, I think. Uh, I think our task is, is to explain why we believe uh, that there is consensus. And indeed, con consensus is, is very hard to, to explain. Um, I think, like Craig says, in, in, in our community, if you come from our community, you have a very you have an idea of, of uh, how this consensus building decision making process uh, works. Uh, but that said, I, I think it's also our task to make that very clear to people who do not have um, 
um, have that experience in the community because this proposal is to be read by everyone, not just sort of the insiders. So it's, I think our task is, is really to make make it very clear why we see uh, how we see that that this consensus was reached. We did that, I think, in the proposal, showing that there was a lot of discussions in the regional community. They shaped. Uh, the views that then came into, that the CRISP members came into the CRISP team with. Uh, a lot of that work was done even before the first uh, mail was sent to the IANA council list. Um, so I think that's one, one part. The other is, is simply the lack of support for, for Richard Hill's uh, point. Uh, it is not up to him to say what he can accept or not. It's a matter of uh, support for the various positions, and as far as I can see, that there has been no support uh, for his uh, for his points. Um, then, the the second part of this, I think, is where we need to also trust our community. I think we need to do some outreach work, uh, but it is up to our community to decide whether or not there's consensus. It's not necessarily only up to us. Uh, so I'm hoping also that we can wait for a few days and see if there, if people in the community speak up. That is the strongest way of showing that there's uh, that people feel that consensus has uh, been reached. And then the very la last point I want to make is is I think um, I've sort of uh, at previous meetings talked about how I think it's really important that we leave a clear record and, and I think that's another thing for us to consider to make it not only make sure that the minutes are there but to make them easy to find, to make it easy for anyone to see the records, um, the mailing list, the telephone conferences, all that, so that uh, people can judge for themselves and I think that again is, is the strongest argument for um, that the process has been fair. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ronnie. Um, uh, I see a hand from uh, Andre. Before I go to Andre, uh, let me just uh, briefly summarize because I think there are lots of uh, good points made by Craig and Ronnie. So I think a common uh, observation by both of you is that um, uh, people, the other people uh, uh, in the, the, uh, on the global list uh, didn't agree and they didn't support Richard Hill's point. That's uh, one point that actually clearly shows that um, you know people didn't feel the need to to incorporate his, his comment, and I very much like the point that the Nurani has raised. Is, hey, let's um, leave it to the community to judge wh whether there was consensus, and um, not to just a Christine I mean, uh, to to say hey there's consensus, but then. Uh, Make sure that the backup and the community members actually feel that uh, there was consensus. And we just uh, I just sent this uh, out yesterday, so I think it's worth waiting for a couple of days for feedback. So that's the second point. And uh, the third point uh, is about improving information information sharing. And I think you've raised this point, Rani. Uh, so uh, if there's additional uh, improvements that we can make to the current um, Christian website. Um, I think this is uh, something worth exploring as well. And let's go to Andre. Thank you, Zumi. Well, I raised my hand mostly in support for uh, Nurani and Craig's points and uh, your summary as well. Um, I think that community support is very important. I hope that we will communicate this to our regional communities and uh, encourage support or feedback uh, to the proposal, to our summary. Uh, another thing that I wanted to say, and for what it's worth, uh, Richard had the same pattern of uh, um, complaints and the same uh, sort of response uh, on the ITF, uh, uh, regarding the ITF process on the IANA plan working, working group. So um, it's not unusual. I think Craig is right. I mean, there is misunderstanding, fundamental misunderstanding, the way we are making decisions and what consensus means. Thank you for this information about the ITF as well, Andre. And I think it's really important that we communicate with the regional list. So um, I've sent, uh, I forwarded my response uh, to the APNIC list and uh, um, um, requested for to give feedback, especially like simple, just 
support will be helpful. So it would be great if each of you can go back to your regional list and, and I'll do the same, telling other community that, you know, even just saying support and simple, you know, without any reason, that itself is helpful enough. Um, and so I think uh, we've covered good points. Um, and one thing that I would like to um, add is that um, maybe Richard's um, definition of consensus and the, the definition of consensus that we're familiar is uh, slightly different. So Richard is uh, assuming an anonymous support as consensus. So if there's any single concern expressed um, that is, I think from his point of view, it's not considered a, a consensus. But how we define consensus is this broad general support for a proposal. So the majority of the people support. And then in case there are concerns expressed, um, it, it, we, we actually have the clear process that we have for considered it. But even after consideration, uh, it, it didn't uh, make, I don't know, um, sense. Uh, we explained um, and gave proper explanation about why this was not addressed. And then if in case this uh, position of not incorporating is supported by other members um, of the community, then I think it's fair to say that um, you know, a rough consensus was reached. So that's the definition that we're quite familiar with and uh, have been working with uh, with our communities. But maybe Richard has a, has a different understanding of this. So I think it might be worth uh, clarifying um, um, within the ICG about this difference in um, definition. Um, I see Paul's hand. Hello there, everyone. Thanks, Izumi. Um, I'm not really quite sure. I think it's, it might be worth explaining something like this to him. I think he's very familiar with consensus building in the ITU, and to be honest with you, it's not very different, <laughs> surprisingly enough, um, something that, that, that we have from the top down and the bottom up approach that has some similarities. Consensus building in the ITU very, works very much the same way I can see uh, in, in, the technical, in the various technical communities. Um, so I'm not sure whether it's the definition or not. It certainly is worth pointing this out if this is the reason why uh, we're seeing this kind of uh, response coming from Richard. Um, I, I'm not really sure. but. Um, I, I, at this stage, I'm not really, I'm not really quite sure what more we can we can say. We have referenced uh, the mails you sent out. Izumi were brilliant. They were they were referenced correctly with the work that was done. Uh, I think we had a very diverse group of people here working. We did consider all those points. We spent a, 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 a large amount of time, in my opinion, uh, touching on those points that were brought up, uh, also by him as well as others. And I think they received the attention they should have received. And uh, therefore, I'm not really quite sure what more we can, can do to, to make this clear. Thank you very much, Paul. Um, I just want to be clear. I'm, I don't mean to explain and convince Richard. Um, and, and very reassuring to know that this uh, definition is the same for other communities, including IT, uh, ITU as well. So, I mean, just to, to make sure that ICG is, uh, is share this, I mean, it might be obvious, but I think it's uh, worth uh, clarifying this again. And that's how we, we define consensus. So that um, they they um, um, they can um, summarize the situation. Uh, Richard's definition is like this, and that's why he's saying it. But our definition is like this, and which if if this is a common shared understanding, that would uh, is likely to make sense to the ICG members. So um, just to clarify, and, and thank you for sharing this, uh, Paul. Uh, so let's uh, go to Nurani. Yeah, thank you. I, I uh, very much uh, actually agree with you, Izumi. Um, again, I, I think our task is not to convince Richard Hill one way or the other. Our task is to show that we have done what we have done our due diligence uh, to show the ICG, but also to the wider community that we have done what was the right thing and that we believe that there is con consensus on the proposal. Thanks, Anurani, for this comment. So, um, 
I'm not seeing any other hands, so um, it seems that we have actually um, I know, raised a couple of um, points we, we feel we can explain about why we have uh, considered consensus. And so um, maybe I will try to summarize this and then um, send this to uh, Paul Wilson and Alan, who now has the two hats and who's not here at the call, as a reference of, um, and, um, and they can uh, take this as a reference in case they, they want to um, explain um, um, about this uh, definition of consensus that has been um, um, considered by the Chris team. So um, if no other comments, um, that is my suggestion for um, the way forward about this topic. And um, I would like to move to another agenda, which is uh, related to the discussions on the IANA expert list, the, uh, the global list. Um, so uh, as you probably are aware, I have um, submitted our, our responses to both uh, Guru's uh, comment and Richard's comment, and I share this to the, the global um, IANA extra list. And then it's in response to this, um, we received a comment from Richard Hill saying that um, our response to Guru was uh, not uh, clear enough, and we haven't really um, replied. Uh, sufficiently to to Guru's uh, question. So um, and a couple of other community members have already um, started joining the discussion. But um, well, since this is uh, this uh, this comment is made on the IANA um, global list, um, we we may want to consider how we will um, address and respond to this uh, comment from Richard. So. Um, any observations, comments related to this? And from Craig. My personal view, um, and I hope this doesn't come across as being too um, rough, is that we, I think we've said what we need to say. I don't feel that we need to continuously respond to Richard. Um, it seems that it would seem that his email is a bit of a troll and we would probably never get to the end of it if we keep responding. Um, I think our response is more than adequate um, and really for ICG to look at it um, would have a pretty good perspective of you know what our position is. Um, well, personally, I don't feel that we need to, to respond any further. Um, noted, Craig. I see support. Oh, this uh, comment supported by Andre and John is agreeing um, with Craig. And um, yes. So um, I also don't feel that we need to keep explaining to Richard. It seems like you know, as I said earlier, convincing Richard or like um, you know, try to address his concerns. But um, I, I just want to be. Um, to make sure we we are appearing that not not in terms of like appearing for the sake of appearing, but ensure that uh, we we are accommodating um, um, community feedback adequately and sufficiently. Um, so we want to uh, to be able to explain not just to the ICG but to the wider community and ultimately to the NTIA. So um, if we all feel that uh, this is you know, not an issue without not responding at all, then uh, we can uh, take this approach. And another way of thinking is that um, um, this might be a good opportunity to clearly explain our, our um, um, situation or position uh, in case there's not, not something that is not clear. So that might be um, like a, like, Make use of this opportunity to be um, to to uh, to share our message more clearly. So I see hand from Andre. Thank you, Zumi. Well, I agree with Craig. Um, I think that in our response, we uh, stated factual information with regards to the process and Richard's concerns. I think we did our step. Um, um, I don't see much reason engaging further because uh, ultimately in this response we are representing community. We are stating our position as a Chris team. 
So in my opinion, further kind of dialogue should happen between Richard, Richard and, and, and the community, community members. And I, I already saw some replies, and I think those replies, this support is much more powerful than us continuing defending our work, which is, yeah, obviously we will do defend our work, but it's much more important, much more powerful if community does that. Um, thank you, um, Andres. I'm seeing people agreeing with you, and um, so for uh, for the part that I could hear, um, I, I totally strongly agreed with what you said. So um, instead of us uh, defending our own proposal, which would be obvious that we will be defending, it's better for to leave it to the community to to have discussions and engage with Richard and show what they think. And so I think I think that's an excellent point. And I mean if we we actually responded to the ICG. So if they have any additional questions and feel that this part of the question was not adequately answered, then they can they will certainly get back to us. So uh, yeah, I think we can just uh, wait for that. So um, thank you, Andre, for this point. Um, I, I hope I haven't missed uh, the the any other core cool points that you, uh, you made. So um, I'm not seeing more comments. So I think we're, we're good with um, with this uh, part of the agenda as well. So we'll just, uh, you know, we won't have a specific action related to the, uh, the, the comment made by Richard Hill on the IANA uh, expert list. So um, so we have uh, two more um, um, agenda that I proposed, which is um, I sent the presentation for the Monday ICG session. This was just before the call, so I'm sure that you haven't had time to take a look yet. And um, so I would like to um, ask for your feedback, uh, any improvements about the slides, um, um, and then I, I don't actually know if there's a deadline for um, slides far before the meeting or not, or I'm not, I, I tried to ask um, uh, Patrick about how much time that I, I would have for the uh, the presentation, but I haven't received a re response. I'm just like uh, trying to guess things from um, the information that I have. So um, I, what I want to do is fix the slides um, by hopefully maybe on uh, Monday early afternoon so that I would be clear about what to speak and also in case ICG wants to have the slides submitted to them in advance for remote participation, posting on the website, etc., then I can share that. So um, so that's my suggested way um, uh, forward about the presentation for the, um, the Monday ICG session. Um, any point, point related to this? Um, I'm not seeing any comments. So, uh, so uh, people, please uh, give me your feedback uh, for my, my slides. Um, and um, so the last point is it's more like an administrative um, uh, matter. Um, so we have been um, uh, the the our secretariat has been um, uh, helping us uh, produce really like a good notes, uh, clearly explaining who said what and things like this. And this was important, especially for the first few meetings when we didn't provide recordings. And then I think uh, you know to serve for their transparency purpose. Um, it's good that we provide this kind of notes until we submit the proposal. But now we're done with this process, and we actually uh, provide recordings for every meeting. So um, I would actually prefer to have much more simple format of um, describing what action items and what are the major points of um, uh, that has been agreed, and maybe like a brief summary of the overall discussion. 
and then people can actually uh, listen to the recordings if people are curious to confirm who said what in details. That would actually um, allow NRO secretariat to focus resources on other work uh, which may which we may need their support, such as improving the NRO uh, Christian website. And also it would uh, give us uh, um, you know, less uh, work to, to check these uh, uh, notes in details and uh, confirm, okay, I didn't say this, or this point that I made was missing, things like this. So um, I see um, support expressed from Nurani on this point, and I did um, talk to um, a man earlier, and he said that uh, um, he's happy to accommodate this. So if um, no other um, comments uh, or concerns related to um, to this uh, change in the format of the notes. Let's just uh, change the format into more of uh, a uh, simplified form, just as uh, stating the core essence of what has been discussed uh, for each meeting. Um, but, um, oh, actually, I forgot to properly update you that, that um, the NROEC expects us to um, to continue engaging um, even after uh, the the submission process is completed. Um, our role is to support the ICG uh, members representing the number um, the numbers community. In terms of uh, responding to or, or uh, have um, joined, um, providing justification for the number of uh, numbers proposal, or well, there may be cases where um, you know, the ICG expects um, response uh, from um, the number resources community's perspective, and um, some points maybe ICG members can uh, reply directly, but at some points it might be better for the Chris team to prepare the response. So those are the kind of um, um, engagement and support that is expected from the NROEC um, in the future steps. Does anybody have any comments uh, related to this? I'm not seeing any hands, so um, I'll it's a, it's a continuation of a lot of work than perhaps initially um, anticipated. But uh, let's consider it that people actually appreciate the work and contributions that we are making. And um, so um, I, I don't have a planned uh, Christine call um, uh, for the, the next call, but uh, we, we may, uh, you know, I may ask for um, have organized of call from time to time, depending on um, the situation and the issues that I feel, or the first team members feel that we need to have a overall discussion. So I think if no other comments or um, issues that uh, people raise, then um, I would like to close the call. And uh, for those of you who will be at the ICG session tomorrow, um, I'm looking forward to our uh, you there. So thank you. And this is the end of the call. Okay, thank you. Wait, so many. See you soon. It was good to connect with all of you. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, Andre.